Hojo, Mishka Kinagam, Winnie Quinnadish Nakaz, Go Koko to Dem, Toronto, Jinjiba, Camus, Jinjiba. Greetings in the Ojibwe language. I am Brenda McIntyre, Medicine Songwoman, and this is my apparent sidekick, Pixie, <laughs> who is joining me apparently for this video. <laughs> I wanted to have some fun because uh, I'm a huge Star Trek nerd um, and just kind of a nerd in general. And, you know, I like to bring that out. And here's the thing I have not been able to fit into this shirt since I bought it at Fan Expo, like, I think it was 2014. It's kind of depressing. I like started to gain weight immediately after I bought this thing and I don't even think I wore it until I, I wore it once so basically I couldn't fit into this this shirt you know basically since I bought it um, and I've now I'm down 37 pounds now from when I started my weight release journey so just want to share that with you and Last time I talked about hitting plateaus and I got past that plateau and then it kind of like started to hit another one. And because I have my own teachings about that, you know, I'm able to get past it. But one thing I didn't realize, I didn't really take into consideration, is that in order to be successful in a major transformation, you got to kind of do stuff to make sure you don't get trapped in lottery syndrome, you know, like lottery winner syndrome like someone wins a ticket or gets the winning ticket rather and then they win a lot of money and then all of a sudden the money's gone and that's what happens to a lot of people who, who are trying to release weight it's what happens to a lot of people who want what they want right which is why a lot of us are kind of always seeking what we want and it's like this continuous carrot in front of us that we never seem to get um, because when it's something really big that you want that you have a big desire to create for yourself, to receive for yourself, a lot of stuff comes up to get in the way. <laughs> and it depends on what it is, right, and the magnitude of it. For me, this carries a, a great big magnitude, and so it's been a bit, a bit tough on me um, because of my grief journey about losing my son two years ago, because of what it means to become this new person in a new body that I've never had before never released this much weight in my life before ever never gained this much that I had either um, like I was the, I was at the heaviest I've ever been in my life uh, when I when I started this journey back in about September and so to keep you going sometimes you got to stop I'm just gonna say that again because it just kind of came out of nowhere and that's really the truth and kind of what I needed to teach, teach about today is to keep going, sometimes you need to stop. And the reason for that is because if you keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, well, a couple of things can happen. You can get into burnout, right, for one. But also what can happen is when you're transforming in a big way, you're used to, you know about comfort zone stuff. I don't have to teach about comfort zone, right? So, and I like to call it a discomfort zone anyways, because it's really not about comfort. It's about you being kind of in a, in a space that you're used to. And you're, maybe it's in a body you're used to, in a life you're used to, things flow in a certain way that you're used to. Or don't flow in a certain way that you're used to. And whether you like it or not, whether it's comfortable or not, that's just what you've gotten used to. And so, that part of you that derails you, right? Whatever you want to call it, the ego, mind, the subconscious, um, one of my mentors calls it the critter, ba critter brain. That part of you doesn't really want to derail you. It just wants to keep you safe. And it keeps you, it wants to keep you in, a, in that sort of, that what you're used to zone. And so when you're doing some kind of a big transformation, the needing to stop is to kind of take stock and do a few things. You need to celebrate how far you've come. You need to celebrate where you're at, what has happened for you along the way, you know, pause and, and take, kind of reflect on, on where you are and what 
what you've done, what you've done for yourself to get here, okay? Doesn't mean that all of it has been amazing and all of it has been perfect and whatever, because no, right? But you gotta celebrate, you gotta stop and celebrate. We, a lot of people talk about it. It seems like it's very simple, but we don't often do it. We need to celebrate ourselves. So celebrate yourself. One of the other things that happens is, like, it, like if you're not used to, you're used to being a certain way and living your life a certain way, right? And having certain circumstances that present themselves. They're gonna keep happening unless you give yourself a pause and take stock like that. And not only celebrate yourself, but notice also the patterns that you've disrupted. Notice the patterns you have not disrupted. Notice any fears or anything coming up. It could be fears, it could be doubts, it could be just programmed thinking. But notice what comes up for you along the way. Notice what has come up for you. And in the moment, take your, take, like I'm gonna take a few days here. I've already taken a couple of days. I'm gonna take a few more for myself because I'm at that point right now, which is why I'm talking about this, right? because I'm bucking up against the current. I'm bucking up against this. It's like I'm in that big, huge river. The current is coming up and I'm like, I don't know this one. I don't know what it's like to be in this swirly, eddy thing. I don't know what that is, right? I've never done it before. So how do I navigate this if I haven't done it before? And the answer is yes, you can navigate it. The how is gonna come when you notice the patterns you've disrupted the patterns you have not disrupted and you know how how things are flowing for you and really celebrate yourself and yeah take a break give yourself a break we all deserve a break at some point or another right and if you give yourself that break kind of just take time to breathe <laughs> make it so Take a moment to to soak up what's going on one of my other mentors talks about this a lot like just being present with what is and so it's not always easy and when things come up a lot of times we want to go to like my reaction my reaction is I don't even know I don't even have a moment to feel what is happening because I will automatically run away with my mind with maybe my body I'll run away in somehow in some way or another, one shape, one shape or a form or another. And so the only way to stop that is to sit still, to be still, to be with yourself and to kind of just soak in the soup of it. Yeah. So that's where I'm at. And I wanted to share that with you for this month's teaching. I didn't really know exactly what it would be, but I just knew it would be kind of about this part of my journey here and you know how I'm handling that because I didn't realize and it's it's that way with um, a lot of you who are doing healing work right like if you're here you're probably doing healing work of some kind or another for yourself for others and when you have like a big like a spiritual kind of realignment of your system your body got to catch up <laughs> that's what needs to happen your body needs to catch up your mind needs to catch up your spirits already there but the rest of you is kind of going huh <laughs> you know like what do I do I don't know what to do I don't know how to navigate this so you need to give yourself time your spirit actually knows how to navigate this your spirit has got your back so the human part of you just needs some time to catch up that's that's which so just give yourself that time give yourself that love and you really do you, you really got this your spirit has got you back got you back your spirit has got your back and and just don't give up on you taking a pause does not mean you're giving up on you it means you're actually doing the opposite you're soaking up whatever's going on and you're just being with it in the energy of it and just allowing it to be there and what's going to happen is some of that will dissolve and some of that will just continue to be there but you're going to be aware of it and it won't derail you right that's that's the thing 
is being aware and then so if some of the behaviors or you know patterns continue at least you are aware of them right you're aware of them and because of that they're going to stop at some point or another they're not going to be able to continue because you're going to break that pattern yeah so enjoy the journey of whatever that is for you if it's whether it's your business or you know making more money if it's losing weight maybe it is for me i like to call it releasing weight because i don't want to lose it and have to find it again um but whatever it is for you enjoy the journey and give yourself a break i've got lots of really cool stuff coming in the next few weeks i can't wait to give you the next report in a few weeks it's gonna be pretty amazing all right we'll talk to you soon take care